Brian Dulesky with Able Distributors. Today, we're talking about the comfort air systems we got in. And if you haven't tried one yet, everybody loves these things. I'm super impressed with the brand, the quality, the build, everything about them. But today, we're talking about how you integrate the A2L sensor that's built into the A-coils for the new 454 refrigerant and how you adapt that to your furnace of any brand. So Comfort Air, the A2L sensor, Able Distributors, our part number on this, and what we're talking about here is, I call it an interface board. It could be called a mitigation board. Um, it's part of the RLDS, Refrigerant Leak Detection System. This is what we're talking about today. So the sensor comes factory installed inside the case day coil. I'm gonna get you clear near pictures in a minute uh, and what that looks like and what the sensor looks like and where it's mounted. But that comes factory installed. You're gonna need this so that sensor can effectively talk to the furnace and the thermostat and we can redirect power if there's a leak detected. That's what these boxes are all apart. So again, our part number is C55-A coil kit. Pretty simple. Every single time you use a Comfort Air cased 454 coil with a sensor in it, you're gonna use one of these no matter what. So when, always. Sensor is factory installed from the, the factory. We're gonna, we're gonna get into that. When we get into the wiring, you're gonna see that it's labeled very, very easily. Now, if you've done a Bosch interface board, it's identical. It wires the same, it's just basically the same piece of equipment. It's got two outdoor unit. You're gonna see that it's got more choices here than you may need for a conventional AC. Cap off what you don't use. Trim it back, put a wire nut on it, tape it. Cap it off so we know that we're not gonna get into problems later down the road. It's always a good idea. Then you've got to the thermostat, and again, there you have nice color coding and the designated letter coding too, so you know what to wire. And again, you've got plenty of wires here because I don't know if you're going to two-stage stat single, two-stage AC, whatever it is, cap off whatever you don't use. And then the bottom one is to the furnace. So this will go with low voltage wires. You'll wire knot it here and connect it to your board. So this literally goes in between everything. The sensor will plug into this. The thermostat wires into this, the furnace wires into this, the outdoor unit wires into this, and this is kind of the brainchild that's gonna keep everything working really, really nice. It comes in the box with really, really nice instructions. If you lose the instructions or they're not there by the time you go back, you don't really have to worry about it. They do a really, really great job of giving you the wiring diagram and all the fault codes right on the inside of the door. So I'm not gonna dive into the wiring too much because it's honestly really, really simple. If you can wire a thermostat, you can wire this. Inside, the unit looks a little complicated. And yes, the only time you're gonna to have to open this up is A, you're gonna slip the sensor wire in and plug it into that white plug right there. And then if there's a fault code to see the flashing light, you're gonna to have to take the cover off to see the LED light. Talking about the LED lights, on, steady, means it's a normal operation, it's got power. Off, no light at all, no power. One flash, a communication error. That could be the sensor's not plugged in all the way on this end, maybe it came apart on the other end. Two flash means it detected a leak. You've got a leak in that coil, someplace in that plenum, it's picking up uh, refrigerant. A three flash, just means there's an error in that thing reading the sensor. Again, I would check all your connections, all the wired connections, just to make sure everything's good and tight, nobody bumped into anything, um, separated anything like that. Four flash is the end of the life of the sensor. Now, I talked to a lot of manufacturers, most agree these sensors should last about 15 years, so we're good there. And the way this thing lays out and the way it wires, again, this can be a little frightening. But once you mounted this and you just do it one at a time, take your outdoor, your Y and C, go to here, cap off everything else, zip tie it up nice and neat, you're done with that. Go to the thermostat, normal thermostat wiring, every, nothing here is weird. Wire nut it, zip tie it up nice and neat, you're done with that. And then you bring this down to the board on your furnace, no matter what furnace it is, whether it's an 80, 90, 96, 
Lenox carrier, whatever brand you've got. Hopefully it's a comfort hair. Um, and you're done. This will do the rest. Let's get into what the sensor actually looks like in the case coil, what the case coil looks like. Let's get into the next part now. All right, we're back at it. You can see the Comfort Air case coil is built really, really well. You can see the sensor wire comes out right there. It's got a nice grommet. It's got grommets on, on both the liquid line and suction line. The holes for the multi-position drain pan, everything's really, really tight. It's an extremely well-built piece of equipment. This is a piston style uh, coil, so it's gonna come with an assortment of pistons for you. And you can tell, once we look inside, this is where the sensor is mounted and the wires are just zip tied, ran up and out. You've got grommets again on your liquid and suction line. You can see the drain pan is good for upflow, downflow, horizontal right. The accessory box, when you look at this interface board, you're gonna see that it's to the outdoor unit and the wires, to the thermostat and the wires, they're color coded and letter coded to the gas furnace. They make it super simple. If you can wire a thermostat, you can absolutely wire one of these. Inside, again, this looks very complicated, but you're only gonna to have to go in there for two reasons. One, to bring your sensor in and plug it right into that white plug there. And number two, to read the diagnostic lights if there's an issue. So the nice thing about this is if you lose the instructions, they're not there when you go back for any reason, it's all inside the lid of that accessory box of that mitigation board. So you've got the complete wire diagram, what everything does. You've got the status for the LEDs. You've got another identification for what wire does what. So they're really, really complete in the way they do this. This Comfort Air line, I'm telling you, it's impressing the daylights out of me. I think it's going to be here for a long, long, long time. Brian Dulesky, Able Distributors, thanks. Thank you.